Yo. So, since I'm kind of done making infields talking to Asian girls because I understand it's not too relatable to most of you watching my videos from first world western countries, I'm going to go today into a video in which I'm going to review another guy's infield. And today we're going into a very, very old video of Todd V where he approaches girls in the mall. Hey, hey, good God. Good. I know, I know, I know. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, it's just, it's just me. It's just me, not Christ. Just me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a little, it's a little extreme. Hey, just Todd. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. You are. So the way he approached them is yes, indeed, very, very extreme. It's very weird for girls to be approached by someone from behind when they are walking and they have no mental preparation as to what's about to happen. The best way to do this is to usually approach them, at least from inside their field of view so that they can prepare themselves to the fact that they are going to be approached from behind this is definitely not the best i'm not sure why he did that all he had to do was to walk around them to be slightly in front slightly on the side and open them above his shoulder but he approached them from behind what he did very well though was that he calibrated to the fact that they were a little bit surprised he told them that he noticed his opener was a little bit extreme and that they got startled by it. This is what we call a statement of empathy. This is him showing the girls that he's realizing that there is a little bit of awkwardness and the simple fact that you let girls know that you're aware of what's happening very often will ease the tension and will allow you to start the conversation. And I wanted to tell you guys that you're absolutely adorable. I'm sorry that the means in which I got your attention was a little <laughs> shocking. But no, I, I noticed that. He's making another statement of empathy and he's downplaying how awkward it was. He's having fun with it and that's the best way to diffuse any social tension or any awkward situation anyways. On top of that, right before he told them exactly why he came up to them. So it's totally clear that it's just a guy who's trying to hit on them. And maybe if the first approach was a little bit uncalibrated, he's able to calibrate after and to make them laugh to release the tension. It's okay, it's totally fine. Um, but I just wanted, are you guys, do you guys live here? Are you? Okay, absolutely lovely. And I just wanted a couple seconds, slash maybe minutes, All right. to meet you and find out if you're as cool as your looks suggest. Where do you work? Where do I work? Uh, um, I run a business here in town. What do you run? I'm a public speaker. Uh -huh. So I do like life and that or self-help speaking and then I travel to other cities on the weekend. So what he's doing there is very good. He's starting the conversation by making small talk, which is usually what you will do anyways at the beginning of the conversation because you don't know the girl. You have to start talking about something, but very, very quickly, he jumps into showing what's interesting about him. He DHVs himself in a sense. He is demonstrating what's high value about him to give the girls a good reason to keep talking to him and to give the girls the opportunity to be attracted to him. And, and you out there. Okay. Just so. making sure you were a host, promoter. Host, promoter. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upselling anything right now. I'm not, I'm not trying to bring you to any, if I, if I were to try and bring you to a club, it's because I'm there and I'd like to see you there myself personally, not because of me getting paid for your heads, so to speak. That's good. I know, you guys probably get that a lot when you're out, huh? He's having fun while showing them what interesting about him. In return, the girls are enjoying the conversation and they are asking him more and more questions. This is a very strong way to get girls to invest in their interaction with you and to get them to know you more. Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. So like I love it. You know exactly okay. how all that works. Yeah. No, no, no. I, um, the only thing I have to offer is love, affection, and friendship. That's all I got. Sorry. That's what you want? Just the, just the wholesome... What? So that's what you want? You scared wow. me. I was like, almost hit you. I was like, what the fuck? Really? That would have been funny, actually. I probably would have like... He was a little bit nervous at the beginning of the interaction. And there you can see that the more he talks to them, the less and less nervous he is becoming. And the better and better his body language looks. At the beginning of the interaction, he was kind of all over the place physically with his movements, with his body language and the way he was while well, moving his body around. The longer the conversation goes, the more comfortable and relaxed he seems, and that's very good. Ideally, you are relaxed and comfortable at the beginning of the conversation, but very often, when you just wake up, when it's your first interaction of the day, you're not in a social mood yet, you don't have social momentum yet, and you are a little bit less comfortable. Talk to girls, 
keep the ball rolling and eventually you get back to this social momentum. Really, that would be okay though, because that would be like a good story for my day. I'd be like, you know what? Yeah, it's really, it is what it is. <laughs> that would have been chill though. That's, That's what it is. Um, yeah, but no, I'm curious about you. We, I don't live here anymore. I live in the Oh, really? She lives here. So, so you're just visiting her? Right now, how long are you in town for? Today. Monday. Till Monday? I forgot what today was. Let's do, I go a lot. I, um, I work up, that's one of my cities. I do, New York's my, my most most common, LA, here obviously I live here, and then in London would be after that. Huh? Yeah, those are my friends. Yeah, yeah. Um, what are you, what are you, do, what are you guys doing tomorrow? I don't know. We don't week. We don't know. What are you guys doing tomorrow? What are you up to? She knows. Tomorrow, not, not night, during the day. I'm busy tomorrow night. What are you guys doing today? So he's doing most of the conversation there and that's a sign that the girls are what we can call maybe girls. They are not into him yet, they are in. They are on the fence. They don't dislike him, but they don't really like him either because they are not over investing in the conversation. You will see when you start a conversation with a girl and you show her that you're attractive, properly, she will do most of the talking and you will just have to lead the conversation. There, he is leading the conversation, which is good anyways, but he is also doing most of the talking. The girls don't give him much back. That's okay for now. Let's see where he leads this interaction because ideally you should not talk to a girl for 30 minutes if she gives you nothing, if she does not invest in the conversation and if she doesn't show any sign of interest. By that point, you're just wasting your time. During the day tomorrow. I would love to take you guys for brunch. Brunch. Like two or three. I don't get up before noon. Personally. At 1 30? So like how long does it take? It depends what you're doing. Like you're doing colors and everything or so like four then. Four o'clock, Weston, let's do brunch. The three of us. Where would you like to go to brunch? Weston. Where? At the Westin, it's a, it's um on. Oh, you're like, where is it? It's a, it's on, it's on Flamingo and roughly Cobo, between the Las Vegas and Cobo. So in my opinion, he's asking them out a little bit early in the conversation. He's been talking with them for three minutes so far, and he's already inviting them for brunch. They didn't show much interest. This is not the best, but this is just what it is. Sometimes you see a girl and you don't really have the opportunity to talk with her for five, ten, fifteen minutes to actually get her to really invest in the conversation but you like her, she's pretty, she's funny. So you have to build a bridge to the future. And if the girl is not really interested yet, she's still in this maybe category. Best thing to do by this point is to invite her again to do something that's low pressure. For example, a brunch, for example, a party. If the girl doesn't show strong signs of interest, well, first, personally, I would move on because there are so many girls, you will very easily find another one who will show you strong signs of interest anyways. But if you really like the girl and you really want to maximize your chances to make it work with her, you don't invite her on a date until she showed you strong signs of interest. You invite her to something that's more low-key, that's more friendly. So it's, super, it's pretty close. I live pretty close to here, so it's, it's pretty close to, it's in between here and, and kind of where I'm at. Is it a hotel? The Westin? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a hotel. It's, um, in most cities, it's a high-end hotel. In this city, it's a shitty hotel because there's so many actually really, really amazing hotels. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Remind me. I'm sorry. I'm because of all the, the shock and whatever. Nicole, you're good. You're Todd. Good. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You seem. Yeah, you guys actually seem quite chill. Like you guys seem. And they don't give him much attention, so he's starting to get a little bit nervous again. Honestly, I understand how it feels because when you're filming in fields, you have the pressure of the camera and you're like, shit, I have to perform. I have to get the girl to like me on camera. Maybe that's why he's feeling a little bit more nervous. But yet again, the girls don't give him much, so he has to be the one talking most of the time. He has to be the one making most of the conversation. Personally, by this point, I would go away because I would assume if after three, four minutes of interaction, the girl didn't show much interest, I would just assume that she's not interested. Pretty chill with people are chill like, you tried to kill us. I didn't try and kill you. <laughs> How else was I supposed to get your attention? I just gave you like the world's lightest tap on the show. I was like, hi. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't exactly, that wasn't exactly like a ninja move. As far as I like, I didn't like break out like the stance of like throwing stars, huh? Where did you come Heaven. from? <laughs> I just, I just here shopping with my friends. Um, well, Let's do this. It'll be. Uh, 
my experience. Do you have to... Hey, hey, I do have to go with my friends pretty soon though, because otherwise they'll get pissed at me. <laughs> um, but Obviously that's not very good. The girl is going away, so he has to go after her. I mean, the girls are enjoying the conversation, but are the girls attracted to him? I will don't say so. Um, let's all seriously go grab a friendly brunch, see if we enjoy each other's company, and if we do, that's great. If we don't, then we all had a decent meal. Okay. All right, sound good? Um, I guess what's your That's terrible game. I really like Todd, but <laughs> this move is a terrible move. The girl is going away from him, so he's chasing her and he's telling her, well, I'll try, but if it doesn't work, we can still be friends and I will pay you for, I will pay you a meal. I wouldn't call this good game at all. Don't do that. But let's plan on four o'clock tomorrow. We'll get, in case we need to change it up, we'll do that. Okay. okay. Uh, where do you, where do you work actually, by the way? Just, you know, I work Okay, cool. I have to I have to entertain clients a lot, so I have to take them out to clubs. Huh. What? What kind of clients are you entertaining at the clubs? My life coaching clients, because I have a lot of people that have like um, like social anxiety or like they they don't they have like fear of like communicating with people and stuff. So I don't work for the clubs. I don't make money bringing people there, but I have to take people out and make them like get out of like push their comfort. He's talking way too much. He should make her talk instead. Zone or talk to people or like a dramatic change. It can Go be. to a nightclub. That's kind of brutal. Shock and awe. I guess. It's like um, it's like how little birds learn to fly. You push them out of the nest, and if they don't fly, they land. Yeah. He's bringing his phone out and at the same time she's not even looking at him, she's giving him her back and she's looking at shoes. I understand he's trying to show a good interaction for the sake of the camera and that's why he's probably still in there. But by that point, I mean, the less the girl gives you interest, attention, the less she engages in the conversation, the lower your odds of making it work go and so do you really want to stay in an interaction with a girl where you have one out of a thousand chances to make it work while you could be talking to other girls where you have one out of ten chances to make it work okay okay all right do you remember my name or was that lost in the shuffle as well perfect yep all right um Introduce yourself twice. I know. I'm very proud of my name. I have to get it out. This is sad to watch. Honestly, this is painful to watch. Like she doesn't give a shit about him. Yeah. Oh, my name right now. Um, let's plan on plan on brunch tomorrow. Okay. Sounds good. I'll talk to you soon. As so at the end of the day, that was an interaction that was pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, a huge respect for Todd, but this interaction was pretty bad. There are many moments in the interaction when he should have just noticed that the girl was not into him and it's okay move on talk to other girls he was persistent which is okay personally i will not recommend to be that persistent when the girl gives you multiple signs that she's not interested it might work but the odds are extremely low so again depending on how attractive you find the girl depending on how special she is to you go ahead try your luck but understand that the more disinterested she seems the lower your odds are to make something happen with her and then is it worth your time is it worth the effort what i like though is how he followed a system when he was talking to those girls he followed a specific progression he did specific things at a specific time and that's how you become actually good at picking up girls by having a plan that you follow consistently if you want a system to to learn how to lead your interactions when you meet girls in public i have a free guide you can find it in the description below this video anyways that's all for today if you liked this video well leave a like subscribe tell me what you thought about it in the comments below and i will see you guys next time